Hi everyone, welcome to Nancy's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today I'm going to make one of the main dishes in Egypt. It's molokheya, which is the green soup. A lot of people had asked me to, to make it. And finally, it's among one of our series of the main Egyptian meal, which is chicken, molokheya, rice, and keshk. Today we are going to make the most famous dish in Egypt. Molokheya, let's start. My ingredients are two frozen molokheya. This is minced molokheya. Molokheya is the Arabic word. You can pronounce it as molokheya. And we live in the U.S., so we don't have the fresh one. I was never lucky to find the fresh one. Um, so I buy the frozen one, and usually there is a small bag of frozen um, molokheya inside. So I'm using two today. This is how it looks like. I have here five cloves of garlic, two teaspoons of coriander powder, and a pinch of salt. I'm going to grind them in my old style mortal and pestle. I have two tablespoons of butter where I'm going to fry the garlic in. The main thing where we will put the molokheya is the chicken broth. I have here four cups of chicken broth. I have one chicken stock. Usually, I don't use it except for soups, and I buy the one with low sodium. If you, uh, if you are in a Mediterranean country and you can use the fresh one, that will be much better, of course. And you can always use, use a big board where you put the molokheya leaves on it, and then you use this special uh, crescent-shaped knife that the Italian use it to chop their vegetables. It's called Mezzaluna, and I will post a picture of it if you want to make it fresh. I'm going to add my chicken stock here, make sure it's dissolved. Then I'm going to add the molokheya. So it's only half an hour defrosted because I want it to be mostly frozen. Then I'm going to cover it and turn off the stove. That's one trick, trick number one. There will be another trick that I'll show you at the end. So now we are leaving the frozen molokheya to melt in the chicken broth slowly, slowly. And while it's melting, I am going to prepare the garlic so that we can fry it. So as you see, I'm going to start grinding it. Now I'm done uh, with my garlic. The garlic is ready. I'm going to show you the second trick now is to add a little bit, like half a teaspoon of uncooked garlic to your molokheya. It will add a very nice flavor and give it a mix. As you see, it's not melted 100%. This is when we will turn the stove on, medium heat, and I'm going to put the garlic in my frying pan. They have to be running together. This is the trick. The trick is to put the garlic on the molokheya just before it starts boiling. This is the tricky part. You have to be ready with your garlic as soon as the molokheya starts to boil on the sides you add your garlic quick. So we're going to fry the garlic in the two tablespoons of butter, as you see. So both of them are cooking at the same time. I like to use a whisk for the molokheya to melt because it helps if there is any like clumps, it helps it dissolve. See how green and nice it is? When it's green and fresh, it's actually greener than this. It's like deep green. It tastes really amazing. I wish my American friends can try it and let me know in the comments below how it goes. So the molokheya now is on medium heat because I don't want it to um, boil quickly. While I'm cooking this on medium high, the garlic starts to sizzle, as you hear. It's supposed to be golden brown when we add it to the molokheya. So the molokheya is almost ready to boil. This is when I'm going to add my garlic and you have to listen to this i'm going to make a noise of a shock like this <gasps> and add my garlic 
Why did I do that? Because it's an Egyptian tradition that as if we are shocking the molokhaya. And you have to hear their sizzle when you add the molokhaya to the garlic pan. So why do we have to shock the molokhaya so that it absorbs the garlic flavor of fried garlic? Now we will just wait. I will put it on high now and wait for it to boil from the sides. So as you see, I put the garlic when it's almost there to start boiling from the sides. Even if you put it a little bit early, like one or two minutes, it's not a big deal. The problem is if it's boiling and then you add the garlic, this is when it doesn't absorb the garlic. One trick I want to tell you about, if you are using the fresh leaves, you cannot cover it. So I covered it at the beginning when I added the frozen molokhaya so that it melts slowly. And I covered it because it's frozen. But if it's not frozen, you cannot cover it because this creates like a separation in the broth. The leaves or the molokhaya will go to the bottom and then uh, the chicken broth will go on top. As you see, it started boiling. This is when I turned off the stove and now I can't boil it. I can't cover it. I will remove it quickly because we cannot boil the molokhaya 100%. It's cooked when it starts boiling from the sides. And I will show you how to serve it. Here is my molokhaya. This is how thick it is. As you see, I added one frozen bag with two cups of chicken broth. If you like it thicker than this, you can definitely add less chicken broth, like one and a half. But we like it like that. It's in between. It's not very thin. It's not very thick. And here is the Egyptian meal I was talking about. And I hope you watched it all my series. Here is the chicken the rice, the baked rice, the keshk, and the molokhaya. And I hope that you try all these dishes and let me know in the comments below how it goes. See you next time.